students in this lecture we will start new chapter satellite communication link design in this first topic is basic transmission theory basic transmission theory in in this we have to study uh, satellite uplink and downlink design before that this basic transmission theory equation is useful this equation we have studied in the antenna and wave propagation uh, that is a fris transmission equation similar equation is uh, derived here and again repeatedly we have to take here the first uh, we have mentioned we have to mention isotropic source we have to consider the antenna which is a isotropic isotropic means antenna which radiates equally in all directions that is it radiates equal power in all directions as shown in this figure and this is a detector having the area a and uh, this transmitted power is received by detector detector and uh, this is a r is a distance between them then next is a in the engineering electromagnetics we have studied flux density crossing the surface of sphere of radius r is given by f is equal to uh, pt upon 4 pi r square pt is a transmitted power so this is equation number 1 then in terms of eirp so what is eirp effective isotropic radiated power in terms of eirp we have to write down this equation if we consider gain of a transmission uh, transmitting antenna is a gt then we can write flux density in the direction of antenna is given by f is equal to pt gt upon 4 pi r square where eirp is product of pt into gt if it is a product then we can represent this equation as f is equal to eirp upon 4 pi r square uh, this is equation number 3 then receive power pr is product of pr is equal to f into area that is a flux density into area then uh, some power is reflected and some power is lost and reduction in efficiency in terms of an effective aperture area ae is represented by this formula this is a ae is equal to nita ar where ar is physical receiving area then next is a received power received power is given by that is a flux density into this effective aperture area a then we have to mention two relations here also that is the first relation is gain of receiving antenna uh, gr and uh, e effective area is a then relation between them is given by gr is equal to 4 pi a upon lambda square here if you calculate value of a that is gr into lambda square upon 4 pi then putting these equations that is a uh, we have equation f into e that is equation 6 we have to fill up value of this f and a then we have to put the value of f from this equation number 2 this equation number 2 we have to put the value and a we have to put the value from equation 8 so we have to put equation 2 and 8 in equation number 6 if we put these equations we will get this equation that is f is pt gt upon 4 pi r square and a is gr lambda square upon 4 pi then in the denominator if we observe uh, here 4 pi 4 pi and r square is we can represent it as 4 pi r whole square and here product pt gt gr lambda square as shown in this figure here but as previously mentioned pt gt is a effective isotropically radiated power and if we lambda take uh, at the this uh, uh, down side then for uh, the equation becomes pr is equal to pt gt gr 4 pi uh, 4 pi r upon uh, lambda square but this is a new term which is called as a path loss if we represent it as a path loss then uh, we can represent this equation as pr is equal to pt gt is a eirp and uh, gr at as it is and uh, this is a path loss we will get equation number 10 then uh, this equation 9 in terms of db is given by this is a equation 9 in terms of db we have to mention this equation so pr is equal to tan log pt gt into tan log gr gr is a this term that is a tan log 4 pi a upon lambda square 
10 log 4 pi e upon lambda square upon 10 log is a this is a path loss that is a 4 pi r upon lambda square then if we get this logarithmic equation then converting the product into sum and division into subtraction that is a product into sum and division into subtraction side therefore we can represent this equation as pr is equal to the first term is a erp as represented as it is then products mentioned as a subtraction this is a receiving gain that is a gr and this is a in the subtraction side term that is a path loss therefore we get this equation pr is equal to eirp plus gr minus lp but some other losses are also present that is a rain attenuation antenna that is a transmitting antenna receiving antenna losses if we return uh, all these losses then final equation becomes pr is equal to eirp as it is plus gr minus path loss minus uh, attenuation that is atmospheric attenuation uh, then transmitting antenna attenuation or loss then lra receiving antenna uh, loss okay so lastly we will get this equation so this is a uh, three uh, basic transmission theory equation in this we have derived this equation that is a pr pr is equal to pt G, gt gr upon 4 pi r lambda square this equation is called as also called as a Fritz transmission equation or Fritz free equation so in detail we have derived this equation and this equation is useful in satellite uplink and downlink design